You don't mm. have any particular training in this. How do you how do you learn to run a company? Um, you know, throughout the years in business, I found something, which was I'd always ask why you do things. And the answers you invariably get are, oh, that's just the way it's done. Nobody knows why they do what they do. Nobody thinks about things very deeply in business. That's what I found. So I'll give you an example. Um, when we were building our Apple Ones in the garage, we knew exactly what they cost. Uh, when we got into a factory in the Apple II days, um, the accounting had this notion of a standard cost, where you'd kind of set a standard cost, and then at the end of a quarter, you'd adjust it with a variance. And I kept asking, well, why do we do this? And the answer was, well, that's just the way it's done. And, and after about six months of digging into this, what I realized was the reason you do it is because you don't really have good enough controls to know how much it costs. So you guess, and then you fix your guess at the end of the quarter. And the reason you don't know how much it costs is because your information systems aren't good enough. So, but nobody said it that way. And so later on, when we designed this automated factory for Macintosh, we were able to get rid of a lot of these antiquated concepts and know exactly what something cost to the second. Um, so in business, a lot of things are, I, I call it folklore. They're done because they were done yesterday and the day before. And so what that means is, is if you're willing to sort of ask a lot of questions and think about things and work really hard, you, you can learn business pretty fast. It's not the hardest thing in the world. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, no. Now, when you were first coming in contact with these computers, inventing them, and before that working on the HP 9100, you know, we talk about writing programs. Mm -hmm. What sort of programs? What do people actually do with these things? Mm. See, what we did with them, well, I'll give you a simple example. When we were uh, designing our blue box, we used, uh, we wrote a lot of custom programs to help us design it, you know, and to, to uh, do a lot of the, the dog work for us in terms of calculating master frequencies with subdivisors to get other frequencies and things like that. We, we used the computer quite a bit and to calculate, you know, how how much error we would get in the frequencies and how much could be tolerated. So we used them in our work, but, but much more importantly, it had nothing to do with using them for anything practical. It had to do with using them to be a mirror of your thought process, to actually learn how to think. In other words, I think the greatest value of learning how to, I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. Should learn